each and all my gamers and NFT enthusiasts, the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast is hooked up with the Lightest Sphere Network to offer you something special. Go to the top line of the description box and click on the link to play a season preview of the game Finesse Shadow Wars. It's brought to you by play.finesse.fun. Go to the top line of the description box if you went to NFTs and if you went to gaming. Go have non-stop fun. Tell me your boy Oga sent you. Link is in the top line of the description box. Play.finesse.fun. Go get it. Yes, if you're a gamer or if you're into NFTs, trust me. Click the link at the top line, right there at the top line of the description box. And I got a special, special treat for you. I promise we hooked up with the Lightest Fair Network. I'm telling you, man, they got some good things in store for you. All right, let's talk about Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is under fire today, you know, for a life-size cutout in Georgia. Now, Snoop Dogg, when you go into a Kroger store down in Peachtree City, Georgia, right, you walk into the market or whatever, you see this life-size image of Snoop Dogg promoting his wine called 19 Crimes. Now, it's not necessarily the wine that everybody's up in arms about. People are infuriated the fact that it's Black History Month and they have a black fist up there celebrate, saying celebrating Black History Month with uh, black-owned products and different things like that with a fist. And I'm going to give you my opinion on this. You know I'm going to go in on this one. But some one person put it's very negative. Um, one person put they really promote alcohol. Um... And, you know, it is what it is, you know, in that regard. They've been getting a lot of planes at that store, and some people want them to take it down. Some people don't think it's a big deal at all, right? Um, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing, because the NAACP has been contacted. Now, Kroger said, Kroger, and I quote, is committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion in all we do. Our intentions are never meant to be offensive. Of course, the intentions are to make money, and obviously they're paid they're being paid or they're splitting profit when it comes to selling that brand. And obviously the target market is you, black people, right? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I know there's a high you know, demographic of black people in Georgia. And I will probably say that that's their demographic. That's what their target market is. They're, they're targeting those people. Who say, oh, that's Snoop. Oh, let me try what Snoop got. It's no different than Diddy. And if you look down, you can see they got looks like a sales stickers next to it, so it makes look it makes it look like you're getting a, you know, uh, a good deal. Now, to, for me, it definitely is 100 percent offensive, and this is coming from a I'm a stone cold businessman. I understand every aspect, you know, of this right down to the the colors that they're using to even market there at the bottom. I understand the aspects of everything that's going on here, but. It's definitely offensive to couple it with Black History Month, but it's a marketing scheme. Somebody thought, hey, it's Black History Month. We sell it. We, we, you know, we're promoting a black business. Let's put the fist up. Let's have people feel like, right? Let's have people feel like, you know, they're helping, you know, support black history in a black man by buying this poisonous ass wine. Now, hey. I'm going to put it like this, man. I, I'm i kind of torn, honestly, because I understand the business aspect of the whole thing. But to me, it's really no difference than you putting your brain on a, uh, on a wine or liquor than a guy in the street selling dope at the end of the day to me. It's just really no difference. Only only difference is to me is one thing is legal, one thing is not, right? With alcohol, I mean, let's look at how many people die from alcohol. Now, you have to be responsible. You're an adult and everything like that. That's the other side of it. Even when using drugs, you got to be responsible. You got to be an adult. But at the end of the day, it's a choice for you to pick up the bottle. It's a choice for you to pick up a needle or whatever you know your choice of drug is. So I always, and I understand that a lot of these rappers continue, have been and continue to get filthy rich. Look at Jay-Z, $750 million you know, deal with Bacardi. You know, Diddy, Surratt. You know, uh, all these people that got these brands, and I'm not hating at all. Get it how you get it. What you eat don't make me shit. But at the end of the day, we got to call a spade. It is what it is, right? There's no difference to me from Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg could have been selling, you know what I mean, cocaine. And if cocaine was legal, 
He have a bag of coke right there. Somebody sniffing it through a $100 bill saying this white girl does a body good. So, you know what I mean? It's just you got to look at it like that, right? You have to, you know, envision it like that. And then again, you know, um, people are going to buy it. Even the fact that, you know, I'm doing this video and that it's getting publicity is probably going to make the sales spike at the end of the day. I have no doubt about that, but I do think it's still important you know, to bring light to a situation like this and not over exaggerate. I'm not trying to, I'm not hating on another man's pockets or nothing like that. I see this for what it is. And I'm not, I don't look at Snoop Dogg any different. At the end of the day, you know, you got to look at these people like people, they trying to come up and get rich for their family. Yeah, some of them help the community. Some, some people help, they give money back. Some of them do, obviously. But for the most part, these are businessmen trying to capitalize and make as much money as they can while they're alive so that they can live great and their family can live great. Now, inherently, there's nothing wrong with that, inherently. But when it comes to the fact that now, you know, the products that you're selling are poisonous, it's like, you know, but then again, then again, it's the other side to this, you know. It's the other side to this. I think it has to be, you know, imagined. But let me know what you guys think, man. You know, again, this is no hate to Snoop. Or nobody, but I always kind of felt like this, like, all right, huh, you know, the liquor thing, I get it, you know, we're going to sip on some liquor, everybody, you know, mostly probably everybody listening, probably going to sips, done sip, parties, they drink and all that, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what are you promoting, Snoop, and then to couple that with Black History Month, I think it's downright dirty, but hey, that's just my opinion, and um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like I said in the beginning, of this video is brought to you by the Lightest Fear Network. Go to the top line of the description box and click on the link. I got something special for you, especially if you're a gamer or an NFT enthusiast. But if you're just curious and want to find out, you know how you can make a couple extra dollars, or you're a gamer or you want to get into NFTs, click the top line of the description box. The Lightest Fear Network. They've been running, you know, uh, um, working with us right now for a few months. I definitely appreciate them. And trust me, you're going to appreciate. You're definitely going to appreciate when you click that link. Hey, hiphopun.com is our official website. Hiphop, the letter un.com. I can't thank you guys and girls enough for going over there, showing us love. Man, we're getting, you know, a lot of hits each day organically. And I truly, definitely appreciate each and everybody's contribution HipHopUN.com is the website. Um, on the way out, man, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you share the video. Share it on Facebook or Twitter. But hit that top. The link at the top line of the description as well. Peace.